Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome back to Captain of Industry and as you can tell I'm in the photo mode right now and I'm just looking around and apparently you can actually zoom right down to almost almost eye level and if we uh, go over to the cement plants here uh, this is about as close as I can get and it's about the same height as the door um, of course we can clip right through everything but that is quite nice definitely gotta get somebody here guarding the place or Maybe we can start paving. But anyways, uh, I have done a little bit of work since last episode. I have gotten a little bit of research done. Uh, we do now have the research lab tier two. Uh, I do currently have the research parts being made in the electric assembler. I finally went and finished that one up. Uh, but production is slow. Uh, I'm only going on single speed right now. Uh, but I want to start getting some like factorization going in. Uh, as far as research goes, currently I am doing the cargo depot. And then the uh, storage tier two, and I'm thinking after that we're going to go into the fuel pump or fuel station, and that way I could probably get rid of this long pipeline going down here. I could probably even get rid of that right now because I don't think the excavator really needs it. So let's go ahead and take that out and get all these construction parts back because we're going to need a lot of them for the next plant. Now I want to start getting. Uh, what can I do? Take the whole thing out in one shot. Let's find out. That's uh, only let me do so much at a time. Uh, or is it? I have no idea. Oh yeah, it will. Awesome. So I can do all this and claim all these materials back. Because theoretically I don't actually need that there. That was just to uh, supply the, this tank over here. Uh, but yeah, I want to get uh, copper going. I want to try to get some more of this backlog dealt with uh, currently with construction parts more or less waiting on the co the, the concrete uh, I've thought about boosting production because uh, there is a little bit of backlog of cement but uh, if I do that then the cement may start to run dry which means another kiln and all that stuff but uh, one thing we do need to do uh, stop moving the camera around for one is we need to go back to the map because I had the ship loaded up let's go ahead and start repairs on this so what's going to happen is the cargo ship is going to take off. Let's go repair the cargo ship. Or our ship is going to go repair the cargo ship. And then the cargo ship will come back and we'll be good to go. Uh, are you leaving or what? Uh. Oh, I thought it was... Hang on a second here. Let me figure out what I'm doing on here. Oh, yeah, I guess I have to do this. Deliver cargo. There we go. Now she's going. Uh, they also seem to have rebound the camera controls to one of my recording keys. So every time I uh, start or start recording, it zooms in a little bit. But anyways, uh, look at that. We're getting all these construction materials back, which is good. I could probably... I'm not going to get this started yet because I want to save these because we're going to actually get some stuff built. Uh, I'm going to let the research continue going on. Uh, these guys need places to go, but... Uh, for one, I want to get some more trees out of the way. Let's see what we have for tree area. Okay, we have there and over here. Let's stop this for now. And then let's clear out this area here. Now, what do I have for storage for them? I think the only wood storage I have is here. Let's pause this. And then... I want to have them close by here. This is kind of why I want to get this storage upgraded. All right, so I'm going to put four of them here, and that should do enough for now. Uh, I figured out the these trucks anyways. They support up to uh, 20 items of whatever load that they're carrying, so that is good to know. I don't know if we can upgrade the trucks or get better trucks or whatever, but uh, that's what we have for now. All right, now over here, so I want to get all this copper, so we're going to have to get a mining, actually, let's uh, make some prioritization here, get rid of that, and that, and that, and don't really need that at the moment, I just want to get a bit of a mine site set up, so we can get in here with the mine control tower, and uh, continue on. Uh, these guys have a place to put wood. Good. I have two harvesters here. How many trucks do you have? You have three and... You have three. Okay, 
that should be good. Alright, now, go and get a mind control tower. And... I wonder where the best place is, because they have a fairly large area. But I want to make sure that I get everything in. I can always move it later, too. Uh, maybe we'll start, like, right here. Alright, and then as you can see, I can edit the area so I can actually specify how big of an area I actually want. In my insight. My insight. I don't think it really matters, like, as far as how big it's going to be regarding cost or operation or anything like that. Let's see if we can try this again. Of course, like I said, we always can always be moved. And uh, we're going to allow no dumping here whatsoever. Okay, and then I have to, of course, I have to make, build another excavator and get that queued up. Uh, how many trucks do I have free? I don't know, but we'll build a couple more trucks. Maybe one more just in case. Because uh, we're going to get that fuel station going. Actually, I wonder if I should speed that up. Oh, we're already there. Alright. So that is doing that. Uh, then now i got to set up a smelting area. Basically, I want to turn this area into like a large foundry where I'm going to have the coal and the iron being smelted. Or iron and copper being smelted, not coal and iron. And eventually we'll get that gold down here. What is that? Uh, just a little bit of limestone sh sticking through. Okay, so now I want to get all these sort of reworked. This all has to be moved down here. I was going to get the production set up down here first, but uh, we're going to need things like copper and stuff like that. So we might as well get that all set up because as you can see, we're already down to 400. All right, so uh, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, our smelting area. Now, I'm going to go with planning on this because I don't want any of this stuff actually running. No, that's not the wrong one. Uh, not the pause tool. Planning mode. So, planning mode, whenever I build stuff, it just... Everything gets built in a pause state so it's not running. And then I can just manually unpause things as I go. Alright, so we're going to need smelters. We're going to need... more not smelters. We're going to need blast furnaces. We're going to need metal casters. Uh, I was mentioned two of these will supply, well, one of these will supply two of these, which does seem right, actually. If I'm getting four, eight every 20 seconds, and this uh, needs eight every 40. Okay, yeah, so two to one. Uh, the copper does actually need the copper electrolysis, which does 16 and 40, so then it only needs one. All right, well, uh, let's start backwards with the copper, I guess. That way we can have everything sort of uniform in size. All right, now, got water in and copper out that side, so we'll do that. And then we need metal casters, and we'll try to have everything sort of uniform as far as placement, stuff like that. Uh, trying to think how I'm going to do this. I guess I should have held shift on that. Uh, but you sort of get an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to have everything sort of uniformly spaced. Uh, let me get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I got. So I decided to uh, double it up. So I got two doing copper. We'll go ahead and uh, set these to copper ore. Uh, copper ore on this one. Uh, those are going to be going through the electrolysis and I chose the wrong recipe. Now we want copper, not iron. Copper, not iron. There we go. Uh, these, I don't need to set a recipe. Okay, and same with these. These are automatic. They'll just do whatever. Uh, this is going to go ahead and go to iron. And iron. And I had to have uh, all the channels and all that stuff set up. Now we're going to have to get some storage. And I think this type of thing go like this. Yeah, I think we'll just go into one because I'm going to be upgrading this stuff from, uh, soon. And I think we'll just do three. I'm trying to keep everything sort of on the same grid too. Try to be somewhat uniform. And spacing, I noticed that not all the buildings are even or odd. These are five. These are... S what are those? Those are seven, I think. That's six. 
So yeah, there's that. Alright, now we need to get some conveyors. And... Yeah, that'll be right. Now let's see if I can do something like this. Okay, like that. And like that. Now I'm hoping all the trucks are going to be able to get in there. Alright, and then this will be really simple. Like that, and like that. Now I just have to get water into these. Let's see where the water is here. Oh, good, we have water right inside there. So I can just put a wa uh, groundwater pump right in the middle. And... That should work. That should get water, I hope. I don't think I can place it just like the 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 rig. Now I have to get this up and over. Now I wonder if the pipes can actually go vertical. I don't think they can. Now this one will be easy. Let's get into the other side. That's gonna be a oh. You gotta love that, don't you? All right. Well, that is all that. I think that is all set up for that now. Now I need to get um, a st storage system, or not sorry, storage system, uh, conveyor fed line for the resources. Alright, so I'm going to need one for coal, one for iron, one for copper. I think we're going to have, am I using the right one? Yeah, I am. I want to have everything basically coming out of the same, same one. So that should be lined up. Make sure you get a nice buffer. Again, this will all be stuff that is upgraded very soon. And where did I put that? I think I put it there. Yeah, I think it was there, but it's not. No, nope, it wasn't. Anyway, uh, let me get this all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I got. I have made somewhat of a layout uh, basically I have coal coming up up through here it's going into a, a temporary hopper storage it gets fed over through the conveyors I don't know if you can really see everything or not sorry yeah conveyors but the these things here the u-shaped conveyors to bring all the loose material in so the, car, the coal comes down this line here it comes down here it splits up into two these two furnaces here and these two furnaces on this side I have the coal on actually what do I have on this side this was Iron. So this could, no, not coal. Uh, iron. There we go. So these are going to be the iron, and I got to get all the rest, other recipes set up. Copper is going to go in on this side here, like so. I'll get this all set up afterwards, and then yeah. So I've got two two copper, uh, two blast furnaces doing copper into four metal casters, which are going back into two electric. Uh, electrolyzers which are going back into here. Uh, I got the groundwater pump set up here for the electrolyzers. I do have all the slag coming out onto the secondary output here which is going to go into two more of these which still need to actually be connected up to the conveyor line like so and then uh, hopefully the truck should actually take the slag out of these and dump them into either here or into the concrete plant. So I'm gonna let this speed this up maybe uh, time lapse it and we'll watch it go. Actually what we can do is we do have that ship ready to go. I don't, don't, think, I, I don't think there's actually anything I can do with it. Uh, we do have the ship itself but we don't actually have the cargo depot I don't think because we're still researching that. So anyways, uh, let's actually see if we can watch this getting built in sort of fast motion here. I'm 
demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Okay, well, it didn't go as smoothly as I thought because I noticed that we actually ran out of trees, and that's because this guy didn't actually have any trees to cut down. So, anyways, let's uh, queue up some more trees for him to harvest so we have some wood to work with. But we got most of it done. I just got uh, one metal cast left to do. We need construction parts for that. We got one metal trellises. We need construction parts for that. We need construction parts for that. Construction parts for that. And, of course, construction parts for that. Uh, I actually forgot to turn. Uh, uh, tier 2 construction parts back on so uh, that was that but we do have research done we do have the cargo cargo port actually set up so let's have a look at this all right so uh, the okay so that's where it drops off all right oh this is big wow this is very big and it is going to interfere with what? There's one shipyard. Oh wow, look at the size of that thing. Hold on, I actually saw a good spot right here. Where was it? I saw green. I saw green. Where was it? I saw it somewhere. I have probably a false positive. Can I put it here? Maybe because it wasn't on the ground. I'm pretty sure I saw green here somewhere, but apparently not. It's gonna. Oh. oh I think that's. Uh, that's just a bug. Actually, that'd be perfect. Right there. Oh. Why am I not placing? Why not? Let's try it over here then. There we go. Okay, I'm actually pause that. Let's take the planning mode off because that actually pauses construction. I thought it was pausing operation, but that's not the case. All right, now what are these other things here? Uh, fluid module. Ah, I got gotcha. you. I can place that there. Now a loose module. Nice. And then a unit module, which I would have to build another thing for. Does it connect or no? I have no idea what this does. I think I need a separate cargo depot for this. Again, I'm not too sure. Collision with Cargo Depot. Collision, collision, collision. Hmm. I put it on this side. Not placed in the ocean. Collision with Trading Dock. And I put it over here somewhere. Not that I'm going to need much for um, picking up items. Might actually fit over here, maybe. Sure, we'll do that. And then we can put the unit module over here. Not that I'm ever going to be uh, delivering anything. Now I think, what is this? Oh, that's items going in. Oh, it needs diesel. Okay, well, then we got to get some diesel set. Where's my diesel situation? 
Over here. Hmm. All right, well, let me figure out the piping on that, and I'll be right back. What do you know? Just happened to have a pipe right here. I totally forgot about this one. So we'll just connect off of here. Let's actually see if I can get rid of that end little end piece here. Uh, where is it? Come on, where are you? There you go. And right, now, I take ye old pipe. Raise it up. Oh, am I on this? Come all the way up. Oh. There we go. Alright, so... I guess we'll just run right right down here. I don't need to really worry about uh, any tree harvest or excavator going through here. It's just going to be trucks, if anything. Uh, is that going to squeeze through there? No, it's not. Well, I guess since we're here, we might as well connect it to that. Uh, okay, and then I'll go like this. We'll lower it down. All the way and hope that the trucks can actually get through. Like they can. And... Run this all the way down here, which means it's going to be a lot of construction materials, which means a lot of wood and a lot of concrete, and... Uh, I don't know if this needs road access or not. Let's see if we can lift it up a little bit. If it does, it's just going to be trucks anyways. Okay, and I like a so... There we go. That's one pipe. And then... Did you not connect? What's going on here? In case you're wondering, no, I do not know what I'm doing. I'm just... There we go. Now it connected. And I can come off of here. I can run all the way down here. Let's try to get a little bit straighter. I forgot you can actually hold shift to do stuff like that. We'll lift her up. And then... It's just a matter of getting it back down to here. Oh. Missed the connection. Okay, what are you guys waiting for? Nothing. You're waiting for something to do. You need construction materials, of course. Everything needs construction materials. What am I missing? Construction materials. What am I missing? Construction materials. Wood. Okay. Uh, what is going on here? Now what's your problem? What do you mean you have no trees to harvest? Oh, I cancelled everything, did I? Now it's working. I shall return. While we're waiting, let's explore something while we're here. I don't know which one I should go for, but I think maybe... Let's try this. I think maybe the ship actually filled up there. I have no idea. Uh, we'll check that out, see how things are going. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it wasn't pick up the trees, but it is now. Uh, let's speed that up. I do have the mind control tower in place. Okay, and we have the excavator. We'll call that over. Grab a couple of trucks. And let's see if we get the mine area figured out. Now, I'm kind of wondering if I can just go flat and just clear cut the whole thing because it seems to be working in the, the iron mine. Uh, go F2 flat and we'll see if we can get ground level. Oh, no, no, let's not do that. Don't want to mine too close to the building like that. I think. Sound like I heard a shotgun. Oh, ship in battle. Okay, so we found something. All right, so let's head out here and ooh, two ships now. Okay, well we're not going that way again. Can I explore here? And not enough fuel. I don't think. Nope. Nope. All right, we go home. 
I thought I heard something. Alright, already we're mining out copper. Awesome. I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff. We should have storage too fairly soon. And see if we actually have any coppers copper made. And no, because I don't actually have a set. Copper and copper. And you're waiting on you're waiting on copper. And you're waiting on nothing. You already out, buddy. Okay, cool. Now I still gotta finish up the slide. Alright, I'll let this run and I shall return. And it seems I had come into a come across the problem. I was seeing up here no des de no designated designations available in the miner and I actually forgot this place. I almost said a certain area. So we're gonna go back into uh, mining de designation and going like that seemed to work so we're just gonna get to go like so. We're actually just gonna strip the whole thing out. Why not? That works. Right, let's uh, get out of there. And continue on. We're actually just about to have the storage, so we're going to probably start upgrading that. I may upgrade these, but right now for the construction parts and everything else, it's more or less a backlog, backlog of supplies. Which means I'd have to upgrade the concrete production. We are actually getting some buffer, so I might be able to throw in a couple more concrete mixers in there. But we'll see how that goes. Until then, uh, yeah, or waiting so I shall return what we can do or I can do is there is a way to actually boost production so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and as you can see it's gonna double up the speed of how, how much it produces which is gonna really help so that's actually cool you see a little unity thing uh, I did do some trading earlier to get some more with uh, I believe it was these guys uh, no, it was the other one. Uh, this one down here. Uh, I was buying concrete blocks because I had all the excess wood. I might do some more, but I'm wondering... This is like a supply and demand kind of deal where... Uh, I get less for what I buy or something. I don't know, but we do have the tier 2 storage. And I'm researching fuel station now. Alright, now where is the next spot to go? Uh, we got the tier 2 housing. I don't really need, need vehicle management at the moment. Uh, could get into steel, but I don't think I need that yet. Maintenance depot is probably not urgent. Um, this actually improves quality of life for people. And... Could do transport balancing. Or maybe get into advanced diesel. Which creates a whole bunch of new things to build. Fun stuff. And this is just upgrades there. I guess I'm also start going into electric and uh, maybe maybe we'll get into vehicles afterwards. Alright, so now that is done, now we can actually start upgrading things. Now what does it take to upgrade this? Seven tier two construction materials. Of course it is. Alright, well, I'm going to let that stuff build up because I want to try to get these filled up first before we start getting this up and running. So I'll be back momentarily. Well, it seems that these are actually keeping, the cement is actually picking up. So maybe we'll go ahead and actually upgrade these. Go ahead and upgrade them to tier 2. Because this definitely seems to be the one that we need. And then eventually, once we start getting some more stock built up, I'm going to get a whole line producing basically everything automated and have it all tied in with conveyors and it's going to be down here it's going to be like a production row so we're going to have like construction parts here and mechanical parts vehicle parts all that stuff uh, farms will probably move we do have lots of room over here we can move them to so that's good uh, landfill is due for another layer by the looks of it so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go into a dumping designation we're going to raise uh nope i'm going to do Go that, and I want to have it rotated. That's not what I'm going to do here. There we go, that's what I want. Uh, why is it not? Oh, maybe because I got to do this. Yeah, I don't use this very often, and if I do this, 
then they should actually start, see if I can get down here, building up a ramp and start building a second tier. If I were to go up to like uh, six high here, they won't build, I don't think they'll be able to dump there because they won't be able to reach the top. So you have to sort of build up in layers. And that's just for now. I know there's, uh, I think that's what the burner was for. It was for uh, incinerating, I do believe. Uh, yeah, burn solid waste. But I think there might have been a way to actually reclaim that uh, burn and turn it into fuel. See, that this just produces air pollution. I think there might be a way to actually use it, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, let's actually start getting this set up too. Because we've got the settlement water, let's get settlement power so we can actually make our people happy. Probably should start upgrading those too, but uh, that will be in due time. And what we can do actually, we can go out here since we got the ship fueled up. And let's, let's do some more exploring. Probably should look at repairing this, but that's going to be a lot of parts we're going to make for that so we're gonna have our all our production sort of up to par still waiting on this one last thing to be done anyway I'll be back and our ship has re reached the destination in a battle again uh, we're gonna have to repair it eventually all right so that is another battle uh, I think we can not go down there because we don't have enough fuel. So we'll go back home. And I think there was actually some research we can do to upgrade our ship. Somewhere in here. Armor, weapons. Bridge. Oh wow, there's a tier 3 storage. Ooh. There's actually a lot of capacity there. Engine and more weapons. Is there not a fuel tank for that ship? It probably is. I'm just not seeing it, or I've already got it unlocked or something. I do not know. Okay, that was not a battle. That was actually lightning. Anyway. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, by up here on the right-hand side, we have a new number of issues that needed to be addressed. Uh, one was uh, I was running sh short on mechanical parts, or uh, maintenance parts. And that's because I was uh, running short on uh, electronics, which uh, electronics are also needed for the construction construction parts tier two. So I had to get some stuff boosted and build another one, another assembly line to make more electronics. And look at that, we're running out of copper now, which is another problem because I have a backlog of slag, so the copper isn't actually getting poured right now. So that is an issue, and I have been trying to upgrade this, but then we had a housing problem because I did some more exploring. So now I got to get this upgraded, which is going to be a little bit, but uh, is slowly progressing. Uh, I don't think, no, the ship is actually docked, so I'm not going to bother doing anything else. Uh, also, been having power issues too. Uh, when everything's running, we start to get brownouts. So uh, it's going to be a bit of an issue, but I think for now, I'm going to call this, uh, call the episode here. Uh, machines are back and out, they're breaking down, they got nowhere to put anything, and I'm having production issues. So I'm going to try to get a few things worked out. As you can see, I'm spending some unity just to keep things running right now. Uh, but from now on in the next episode, I'll try to get all this minor stuff worked out. I'm going to actually dis disassemble this for the supplies and get this upgraded. And then uh, next one, we'll start working on our production. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.